Hey everyone, good morning. I'm just heating up my breakfast right now. I got some lovely pastries from the legal aid organization that I worked for over the summer. Um, they were a big like thank you and they look absolutely amazing. I had a croissant yesterday and then I also have a chocolate croissant. So I'm heating that up in the toaster oven right now. But we kind of have a big day ahead of us. I'm getting a halter monitor put on. I was diagnosed with hyperandrogenic POTS at the Mayo Clinic and they suspect that I'm going into supraventricular tachycardia, which is like a fast heartbeat all the time. And it's kind of getting stuck into a loop is the, is the suspicion. So the halter monitor will be able to kind of record that and see what's happening. And then you send that information over to the cardiologist and meet with them and see what they say. So right now I'm just working on getting my breakfast together. I did not sleep well last night. I was in like a bad pot slayer the whole night, especially during the summer. I have a lot of heat intolerance and so I just could not get the temperature in the room right last night. I was hot and then I was cold and I just couldn't get comfortable. Um, and then I got up and I was dizzy and so not fun. Didn't get a ton of sleep, but I'm hoping that this chocolate croissant will like cheer me up and get me going for the rest of the day. I'm also gonna make some decaf coffee. Emphasis on the decaf, because caffeine and hyperpots is not your friend. Um, so I'm gonna work on that and then I'll show you guys what my breakfast looks like. So this is the breakfast situation we have going on right now. I have my coffee, which is decaf major Dickinson's blend from Pete's. And then I also have my chocolate croissant, which is all nicely heated up and warm. Um, I'm going to see how much I can get into this. Um, my appetite has now turned to nausea, which is just true chronic illness life right there for you. Um, but anything is better than nothing. That's always what I say. Uh, and then I'll check in with you guys later when I'm working on getting some makeup on my face and I think I'm going to curl my hair today. So each day is kind of a, a guess of like whether I'm going to do makeup or not. Uh, it just kind of goes with how I'm feeling. But right now I feel like putting some makeup on. So check in with you guys then. So I'm back from the hospital. I have my halter monitor on 
and it's this really cool technology that's I think pretty new it's called cardio key this is kind of what the box looks like that they gave me and it records it for 14 days and then you disconnect it pack it up and ship it and send it to the company all like prepaid with the shipping label and everything and then they get the re results back to you in about a week and your doctor lets you know kind of what they see on the monitor so it's really neat i'm ex i'm i want to say I'm, I'm excited but i have a feeling that there's some interesting things going on so it will be good to catch those right now i'm just gonna have some lunch it's it's a little late i usually don't eat lunch this late but it's been a busy day already so i'm gonna have some lunch and then i'll let you know like what the full process was like going in and getting it like put on and everything Okay guys, bye. Hey everyone, I'm back. So I just had my lunch and I wanted to tell you a little bit about the halter monitor process and kind of what the experience was like. So I checked into the hospital. Uh, I went to the waiting room with my mom. My mom comes with me on like most of my um, appointments, medical things. She usually helps me drive in case I don't feel well or something like that. So they called me back. And then they basically explained to me what the process was like for the one that they were putting on me. So it is the cardio key is the name of it. I have like the little box here. Basically, they put the two little, um, what's the word these are called? They, uh, the two electrodes and lead wires. And then it goes into this device that looks like this. Um, and you can put it on a lanyard or you can put it inside your shirt and you want it to like sit close to your chest though so i have a bralette on and it's sitting in my bralette it's a really easy process and then basically you just wear it for 14 days you have to change the electrodes out every day or every other day depending on like how quickly the glue wears out with showering they only last like one shower and they can wear out quicker if you're like a sweaty person or if you do a lot of exercise which isn't really my problem uh, I'm trying to bring my deconditioning back up and make sure that I'm not as deconditioned, but I don't think I'm going to go cross country running anytime soon. So basically they leave them on and then you switch them out and they teach you kind of how to switch them out and then you plug the wires back in and you take them out every time that you um, have a shower because you don't want to get electrocuted or anything like that or throw the device off and then you sleep with that on and it just keeps going and then there's a record button that you press and it kind of sets a little mark on the recording that you are having symptoms and you record those symptoms in a diary. And then when you go to mail it back, you put the diary in with the lead wires and then the little cardio key device and you mail it back to the company and then they kind of pull it up, pull up your results and then send it to your doctor and the doctor gets back to you in terms of like what your readings were. But that's the whole process. It was really easy. Uh, I have really fragile skin. So I started having an issue with like the gel that they use to like rough up your skin to put the electrodes on. So that was a fun experience. I kind of freaked the nurse out a bit, but it's fine. I'm fine. Um, I'm no longer like super red and irritated, but that might be something that I like need to keep in mind. And she told me each time I put new electrodes on like every day, every other day or so, just to go easy and like change the site so that I don't have skin, too much skin breakdown. And I can always let them know too and get more electrodes, more supplies whenever I need them. But it's a, it's a really easy process. It's not totally, I mean, I think you could wear like a high neck shirt and you know, you could keep it invisible, but I don't really mind. It could be a good like teaching tool and awareness tool. It will be interesting to see what comes out like I said before, my doctors think I'm going into a supraventricular tachycardia or SVT is the name of it. And this will catch it and I'll make sure to record if I have symptoms. Basically, I'm having a feeling of like a butterfly in my chest that's different from my normal like increased heart rate symptoms, which are normal. But I know like what's my normal with POTS and then what's kind of different. So uh, I'll record when I have those events. My doctor did advise me to kind of pull back on my beta blocker dosage a little bit. When I went to the Mayo Clinic, they advised me to increase my beta blocker, which I've been doing for the past couple of days and felt great on, but it can kind of cover up SVT because it is essentially like not a cure, but it is the treatment for SVT. And so, it's great when you have it, but when you're being diagnosed, you don't want to cover anything up. So 
I decreased back down to, to once a day on the beta blocker. I am feeling more symptomatic today. Just in general, I don't really feel good. Like I said, I didn't sleep good and just feeling like more nauseous, more tired, brain foggy than, than I felt the past couple days. But it, it will definitely be interesting to see. And I hope that kind of talking about it helps you guys if you get this device. It seems to be pretty easy. I'll keep you updated on like how the process goes. I might do a video later. It just kind of with some clips throughout the week talking about it and so far how it's going and then the results when I get them back. And yeah, so that's kind of my little bit about the halter monitor. I did want to show you guys that I got some things from Amazon, which was really cool in terms of travel necessities and, and different bags and makeup items and and whatnot so with everything that we've been doing i kind of realized like what works and what doesn't and realized that some things i have no longer work for me so this is the toiletry bag that i have right now um it's made out of this neoprene material it's got a cool little hook on it that you can kind of hook onto a mirror or a bathroom towel rack or, or anything it's it's really useful efficient means of maximizing space but it's kind of cheap and it can bulk up really quickly i knew that after traveling with this bag a lot i probably needed something slightly different that what that wouldn't bulk up so much but also looked a bit nicer so i found this bag off of amazon similar kind of uh structure to it so it also hangs let me see if i can do this with one hand but it looks really nice and polished and also ha is shaped a bit differently so let me see here this is an adventure guys trying to open things with one hand let me tell you okay so it also has a hook on it and i think this will be really nice it's got a pretty little strap it's smaller than the other one a bit i think that will help uh and it just seems to be like shaped a little bit better. And then the other thing I got was for my makeup. So I've been using different makeup bags and trying to figure out what I like for travel. And I found this one, thought it was really neat because it has two compartments. There's one compartment in the back where you can put your makeup brushes and supplies. And then there's a deeper compartment where you put your makeup items. And I like that it was this clear um, kind of structure because that way you can really see what you brought with you and if you're missing anything. Uh, I have a case for my beauty blender, but that would be kind of the next thing that I want to look for is like a good case for my beauty blender that helps get air around it so it doesn't get moldy. But those are kind of the Amazon goodies that I got. I'm really looking forward to trying them out and seeing what I like. And then it, when I was placing the order for those, there were also just like two small beauty items that I needed to get. So I have a brow, uh, brow scissors that you can use to kind of trim your brows. I do my brows on my own. I just figured out at this point the process that I really like for them, how to fill them in, the shape that I like, everything. And then also these tinkle razors are fantastic for kind of any kind of like peach fuzz that you have on your face. So those are all the Amazon goodies that I got. I will test them out and let you guys know what I think. I'm back, so I got a couple of things done in the meantime, sent some emails out. Watch some Real Housewives, because we all need that break. Um, and then I had dinner. We had a really delicious dinner of bison burgers and kale chips. I know it sounds really healthy, but it was it was yummy. It was, it was healthy yummy. Um, and so now I'm just sitting and chilling out on the couch. I'll probably be here for the rest of the night till I decide to put my pajamas on. But yeah, the monitor is going great. I hardly even noticed that it's here. I did have one event where I got up from the couch and I felt a little lightheaded and fluttery. So I recorded that at that time and then I wrote it down in my diary. Um, so it's really helpful for recording those times when you, when you know something is not right and we'll see what happens. So this is kind of my spot right now. I'll just be on the couch chilling. I might have some school stuff to work on. I've been part of a committee over the summer for uh, my law school, so I have to do a couple things for that. But work, chill, work, chill tends to be my pattern during the summer. 
So I'm back as promised with my pajamas on, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit of what my medication routine looks like. I was taking medications throughout the day, but didn't really show you because I just do it so instinctually at this point that I, it's not even something that I fully think about. But I'll get into later kind of my favorite like medical supplies and little things that I like that are super handy. So this is what today's looks like. I did take my morning and new meds, but these were just my supplements that I didn't take today. So I kind of put them in whatever empty bin I had, but I have to take the evening meds. And then these are the meds I take right before I go to bed. And then this is what an empty uh, cassette, as my mom likes to call it, looks like. Uh, they kind of are like tape cassettes and they fit together in a little holder like this and it goes by week so I just do them at the beginning of the week and it makes it really easy to just grab and go and then so I have to take those and then I'll put this back okay there we go and then um, I did my desopressin nasal spray which is a medication used for people with pituitary insufficiency but it's also used in a couple other things i believe it's used in hemophilia as well and some other clotting disorders each time you do it you have to mark down on this little chart that comes with the med the the sprays that you didn't helps you keep track of how many sprays you have left in the bottle so that you pro get the proper dosage every time and then in addition to that i have to do um an injection for my growth hormone. It's something that I have to do every night as well. And then um, I have to test my blood sugar too. So I think I'm gonna take my meds, test my blood sugar, and then do my growth hormone. And then, and then after that, I'll have my little snack that I have before I go to bed. I try to leave like enough space for digestion and delayed issues in my stomach because uh, my doctors think I have possible like delayed emptying. But, so I gotta leave enough time between when I eat and when I go to bed so that I don't get a like stomach ache and stomach pain in the morning. I will have that. It's just these really cool organ shakes. Um, I do the kids ones because they're like a perfect small uh, snack size. It's a good like protein filled snack before you go to bed that way your blood sugar doesn't drop um because i can have really low blood sugars in the morning sometimes so far it's been good and i think it's because that routine is really working well for me um and that's it so thank you so much for joining me on this journey today of new vlogging experiences and new youtube channels um I'm sure it was a little rocky at first. I'm sure my video taking abilities will get much better as we go along, but thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. If you're not, okay, so I just had to refilm that because I could not say the word subscribe and it is so embarrassing, uh, but go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Give this video a like or a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um and we look forward to having you here every week i will be posting this video is a little bit out of schedule just because i'm starting things up but from here on out it will be every friday plus some bonus content when i have extra time we would love to have you on the journey and i hope you have a good night